And tonight in downtown Lexington, rough arena of the site for Kentucky's battle with the 7-2 Golden Hurricane of the University of Tulsa. Now here's Turner, who emerged last year after the injury to Derek Anderson and down low the one-hander by Edwards. Oh, overplaying the wings, one of the things Bill Self talked about was he wanted to, to be able to guard people. That was the key to their victory. Wayne Turner, the junior out of Boston. Let's see. Thompson, not much arc on the three-point try. And here's Kentucky on the run. Shepard for the backhand finish. <laughs> the only way to play here. Hatchet. Nice. And a nice look from McGlure. Scott and Edwards right below Shepard at 11 points per game. Second leading score along with Muhammad. Deep in the corner for Wayne Turner. Wayne. Turner guarded by Coley. This is Michael Bradley, prize freshman out of Worcester, Mass. From the wing, Wayne Turner, who leads the Cats now six points. Keep within two. They have a 6-0 run since they trailed at the last time out. Almost taken away. Thompson bent it in a crowd and rejected by Bradley. Bennett looking for the foul. Good penetration by Thompson. This is off the bed and he probably would have been better off. The defense, they've taken away the three-point shot opportunities by Kentucky and they've swarmed in the lane. Great job by Bennett that time. Muhammad, Muhammad staying after it. And for a moment, you got to heard the crowd wanting patience and working for better shots. Both teams below 40% from the field. And on the reverse, Bennett is ever. Now near a minute and a half, and Wayne Turner ties it at 25. And I think it's Turner to help his team, and that means crash the offensive board. Edwards, good look inside, and it's Muhammad again. Ozzie Muhammad. Kentucky, on the other hand, moving the ball around the perimeter. They're going to recognize that that's the key to three on one of six shooting. This is their 16 point per game leading score. Here's Edwards with a steal and a three on two. Turner with a left-handed reverse. Something that Tulsa didn't do a lot of in the first half, turning the ball movement by Tulsa. Not clock a problem, down to two. Thompson and blocked by McGlure. Not clock expires before Kentucky can gain position. Shepard to look inside. McGlure in and out and back in with the hook, and it's Kentucky by three. Take a look at Jamal McGlure right here, setting up in the paint. You get a guy that big and that strong, setting up that deep, you're in trouble. And Michael Ruffin really couldn't do anything but watch. Crowd again, the reception to start the offense has to be. Well, to get it through, Muhammad, and they couldn't do it. Edwards cashes it in. He by six. Tubby. Mills the up fake to get Coley off his feet. Down low, it's Muhammad with a nice touch off the back iron. He and for Muhammad as he departs after his second foul, 11 points to lead the Wildcats in scoring. McGlure in to replace him. Awfully crowded for Spurlock down there between McGlure and Mills. They've got him in jail, and he has to call time. No other option. His recognition by the freshman of Florida. Kentucky again smothering Eric Coley this time. And they could go up double digits. Smith pushing the pace all the way through. Well, that run that Bill Self worried about, it's here. Offensive foul, Marcus Hill. Well, with the crowd back in the game, Pelton's in this one. In the first six-plus minutes of the second half, 15-4 to four to take command. A three in and out and back for Cameron Mills. Also, Johnny Gendron quiet, five of eight from the field in the first half. Thompson turned away again. Shepard. He's an eight-plus score per game. Mills. And McGlure with a, look what I found, put back. 
patiently working it three to the corner. Shepard. Padgett finally takes that first shot and he nails the tray. Padgett! Roar. Inside. Back out. Shepard from Padgett. Three-pointer, Jeff Shepard. Now you get it played the other way. Padgett with his penetration draws the double team and he pays his partner effective nonetheless but this team does all the little things they meet the ball in the crowd Padgett didn't look for a shot at all and now all of a sudden he is uh, the controlling force offensively for Kentucky goal pending a little bit of a late call I thought Ruffin was going to get away with it Take a look here at Patton. He might take a look at the drive here. And here comes Ruffin from the weak side. California in for the first time tonight. Inside Muhammad. 13 for Nazi Muhammad. Great feed, great. And you talk about Nazi Muhammad again, the job that he's done in getting himself to play and to be a dominant factor in this game, you can't get enough credit for that. Five second call. You know, you look at Bill Self, and, and certainly he's dejected right now, but the takeaway. Unable to get points, though, as Thompson now has uh, one of 13 nights from the field. Mohammed. He recognizes and he's a distributor. Boy, in Kentucky, more willing to take the gambles now defensively. Scoop Edwards. And you know, these are things that only a coach's son can do in the open floor. No look pass right there. You know, that's instinctive. Georgia. And Tubby stayed there. That's not why Tubby took the job. No. 17 now for Muhammad. Friends from Tulsa right there with her in the stands. Shot clock expired just after the shot. Here comes Padgett. Edwards, a wide open look at a three. First, it didn't work. Went to uh, a unit of five in the first few minutes, and that's when Tulsa took a 23-15 lead, but... Early in the second half, they regained command, and they did not look back. Bell with the block to end this one. A 74-53 victory for Tubby Smith as Kentucky makes it seven straight wins and nine and one overall. Tulsa falling to seven and three. Coming up, Fresno State and Minnesota. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Len Elmore, Dave Barnett, so long from Lexington, Kentucky. Let's send it back to the studio.